Hey guys, there's something important I need to talk about, and it's regarding saving accounts on the Japanese version of School Idol Festival. So, you probably can't read the notice about the version 6.1 update. I'll go over it once we actually do get the update, but the one important thing that it mentions here, and we were kind of warned about it a few months ago, but now it's actually happening, is that transfer codes are going to become obsolete in the next version update. Now, what this means is that it won't be possible to generate any new transfer codes for your accounts. However, it is still possible to use old transfer codes that you have generated prior to the update in order to, you know, transfer your account. But once you use that transfer code, you can never make another new one ever again. So, pretty much I'm going to teach you how to actually save your account now. And it involves using something called your SIFID. And this is something that most players have neglected to do since the transfer code system was more or less efficient enough to do that. And not only is the transfer code system going to become obsolete, uh, Google Play integration as well as the Game Center for iOS will no longer be able to save your account. So the SIF ID will be the only way you can save your account on the Japanese version. Now, I will emphasize that it is Japanese version only right now. I'm not sure if or when we're gonna have this change on the English version. I would expect it to happen, but right now we're really only on version like 5.5 on the English version, so it could be some time. And once the English version has it, you can easily uh, make the ID since the interface will be in English, but for the Japanese side, I'm going to teach you how you can do that right now. So you'll want to do as I did and open up the account settings. And there's, there's one more thing, like you can enter like a birthday here and they'll like wish you happy birthday. It was added in recently, but that's not really the point of the video. Just thought I would mention that. So here is where you would... On the third line is the transfer pass code that's going to disappear. Once a new update comes, you'll lose the, the pink button, but the orange button will remain and you can still use old transfer pass codes to, you know, transfer an account once. And then after which you will have to associate it with a school idol festival ID in order to transfer it again. And then the fourth line will be either Game Center for iOS or the Google Play integration for Android devices. That will also disappear. So again, the School Idol Festival ID is really important to make. So in order to make one, it's actually rather simple. So you press the pink button, and then you'll be redirected to this website. And this is like the login, but if you don't have one, you'll have to make one, and then this is what the orange button down here is. And first of all, it'll ask you to log in with your Google, so you can tap that. And then you'll have to enter like your Google email or really any other kind of email, but I'm just going to do that right now and I'm not going to show you that stuff because, you know, it's personal information and if someone does acquire your email address and they could potentially take your account, so do tread cautiously. So now that I've uh, associated my email address, it'll ask, uh, you know, permissions to associate it with your account and I'm gonna accept and then it's that simple so now you have to generate a password and the password has to be 6 to 32 characters I'm not sure if there's like any kind of character restrictions I'm just gonna use like a generic password and then once you've entered your password uh, there will be like a security question this doesn't really pertain to you if you can't read any of these but it's Generic stuff like, uh, what's your mother's maiden name, or where, which hospital were you born in, and other stuff. So, if you can't read any of these, you can just pick one at random. And all that really matters is that you memorize the answer. So, just make sure you write down the answer, and it doesn't really matter what the, the question they're asking you for is, as long as you can just type the answer in correctly. And then there's also the birth date, so you can put that in. Like anything that says red next to the condition is a mandatory thing you have to fill in. Although, it's like... 
it would be better to, um, you know, not lie about this stuff, because if you do uh, need to recover your account or you have to like contact customer support, School Idol Festival ID uh, will have this information, and if you match the information correctly, then it'll be a lot easier to recover that account. So I'll just put in my real birthday, and then my gender, and finally uh, the language. And the only option is Japanese. I'm not really sure why they put that there. Maybe it's for the worldwide version later on when they'll incorporate the SIF ID. And then they'll have options for like English, Chinese, Korean, and whatnot. But pretty much we only have Japanese for the Japanese version. And then the last three things are optional tick boxes. Uh, I'm not sure if they're optional though. Uh, it, it's asking things like, I am not American. <laughs> I'm not sure why I would ask you this, but maybe they just want you to tick it. Uh, the second one is, uh, can we email you uh, stuff related to like campaigns and whatnot? And then finally, uh, pretty much I agree to the terms of service agreement. Like, oh, I, I would just tick all of them just to be safe. And then you can press here if you really wanted to read the terms of service and, and whatnot. So once you've done all that, you can press the orange button and then it'll register you. And then it'll, you know, put up a summary of all that information you did. And then you should be good to go. Let's press the orange button one more time. And then you'll get this confirmation screen so that you can log in using your SIF ID. And then you can press this to go back to the app, and then it will be associated with your account. And that's pretty much it. That'll do it for this video. Remember to keep your account safe, take screenshots, email it to yourself, write it down. It's, it's a hassle if you lose your account. That's Probably something you don't ever want to go through, especially with the K-Lab support, but Japanese K-Lab support's a lot better. It's just the communication problem will definitely be a factor in whether or not you succeed in getting your account back. But yeah, as long as you keep your account safe, keep the information on hand, for the most part, you really shouldn't lose your account. But yeah, uh, I will see you in the next video where I'll talk about the 6.1 update, where they're going to implement the everyone score match, which is the thing that was kind of teased like a really long time ago where you could play score match with your friends anytime you wanted to but finally we're getting it after like nine or ten months after it got announced but i'm looking forward to it i hope you guys are too and hopefully you found this useful i'll see you guys in the next one